to Coachella Valley, man. Everybody back at home. Y'all better get ready, man. When I come back, we're gonna celebrate. Thank you. All right, can you get over here, please? Not ten. When you're ready. Dante's box. <laughs> My man. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> oh, I got God. this on video, Tim. I'm putting I it up. Swear, man. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> this here, and I had it against this thing. It and it hit me. Oh, about it. Man, see that's what you get for running around with. Too many stopwatches. Hey, that's my job. I gotta do it. You must know what time it is. When you work with Sean. It's showtime. That's what time it is. <laughs> showtime it is. Over here with assistant coach Larry Wade. What's going on, man? Hey, how are you? All right. How was your trip, man? Out there in LA, went to watch Hank Lundy fight against uh, Mauricio Herrera. You know what? Actually, I didn't go. I was supposed to go. You know, I don't get that many opportunities to hang with the family and be with my sons. So. I took this opportunity to spend a weekend with them because I know right now we're just starting up, cranking back up, and I already know once that train gets started, they know jumping off of it. So I want to take that moment. And we, I did watch it on TV, though. Mm -hmm. I did watch it on TV. So, you know, it is what it is. It is, it is what it is. Uh, real quick, because the main thing I was going to jump into is Thurman, but since I brought that up, some people think that um, your boy Lund Lundy should have got it, and other people thought, you know, he let off on the gas in the last couple rounds. I personally thought... He won the round that they stopped the fight in, which was the fifth round. Right. How do you think the fight played out? You thought he won or, or it was the, the, the right decision? It was really close. It was really close. I actually scored Hank having two and uh, the other guy having two as well. I really feel that Hank was the better fighter for the night. He could have closed the guy out much better. But, you know, he, he didn't stay on the gas. I agree. In moments when he backed off. But at the end of the day, if that fight comes again, I think that Hank's going to be a different type of fighter. He's very aggressive. He's very strong. Mm -hmm. When the moment comes, if they give him that opportunity again, you're not going to see the same thing twice. Okay. Now let's move on to Thurman versus Luis Colazo. A lot of people thought going into this fight, this yeah. was going to be a landslide. You know, Keith Thurman, an easy, easy fight for Keith Thurman. It didn't really play out that way. It turned out to be a little bit more competitive. We seen Keith yeah. Thurman get hit, get hurt with a body shot, Correct. left hand Correct. to the body. Correct. What's your assessment on him now after watching that fight? Well, I didn't see anything new out of Keith that I felt like, oh, it's so surprising, so revealing, there's a chink in his arm or anything like that. What I've seen Keith do then was the same thing I've seen Keith do in the last few fights. Uh, I was a little surprised by the body shot hurting him in the way that it did, but it did land flush. But you have to remember Keith is a champion, so he fought through it like I expected him to do, and he got the decision. Well, mm -hmm. after the stoppage, but of course. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, but was it anything else? I mean, I know you said you, you weren't too surprised, but do you see a lot of things that you guys could capitalize off as a potential opponent? But of course, uh, and this isn't the first uh, fight that I've actually went back and scouted for Keith on my, for my own usage. Uh, I've seen three or four of his fights, and I put notes on all of them just so that from a conditioning standpoint, my job is to make sure Sean is prepared for those moments. Mm -hmm. So uh, I didn't see anything new out of Keith. Uh, I would reveal those things, but uh, we don't want him to fix them. Uh, you <laughs> we want to keep doing what he's doing. You, so, uh, you heard it from Larry. Please don't fix him, Keith. <laughs> but he is a great fighter, taking nothing from him. you know. And I look at it purely from a strength and conditioning standpoint when it comes to the structure of the fight, the strategy to win that fight. That's in Kenny Porter's hands, not in Larry Wade's hands. So uh -huh. I just focus on my area. But you're part of the team, though. So, oh, yeah. So let me ask you, because I'm about to ask Kenny the same thing. You guys, your charge has been in the ring with Kell Brook and Keith Thurman. Mm -hmm. Who do you think will, will win a Keith, uh, Keith Thurman versus Kell Brook fight? Uh, you know what? I'm going to go with Keith. I'm going to go with Keith. I, I think that Keith is definitely aggressive, but from a structure standpoint, Kell Brook is very structured. So he just has to watch the jab outside of that. If he puts pressure on Brooks, Brooks is going to have problems with it. 